All right, it's back into the fray with some more Mass Effect. And the Mass Effect of Summer rolls on. So this is where we left off last time. But like I said before, we still have some unfinished business to attend to. We have to go to the lower levels now. There's some cleanup we have to do. If this is the right way to go. Okay, we can't take the stairs down, so we are gonna have to go the longer route. Looks like we do have some unfinished business here after all. What do you know? So there's the first water valve. We'll go and get this opened up right away. This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. How very observant of you. Tell me something I don't know already. Okay, there's a collapsed highway section, but I don't think we can go there. Oh, there is, but... There's a transmitter over here we gotta shut down.
transmitter. Oh, here it is. Um, oh, unless I disabled it already. I wonder if I... Oh, here we go. Yeah, I have to take it out. Perfect. So the guest transmitter is offline. Great. Let's move on. So that's one more, one less problem to worry about. That oh, looks like we got some I more. Smell smell. Uh, so, how do you smell if you don't have a nose? Oh, unless you're a. Uh, unless you're not. Unless I know the better. Doesn't seem to be anything else here, so we can move on. Back to that collapsed tunnel area. Gotta go this way. Oh, there's a second water belt. Like it's on yet. We should keep looking. Okay, so there's got to be one more around here. Because it's the only thing that makes sense, you know? Found the first two rather easily. It's always the third one you got to find. This was valve number three, and I skipped to somewhere else. It doesn't seem to be the case.
that was weird. Well, anyways, we have to go back, so... So, we might cross paths with the final, uh, water valve. Unless it was back in here, but I doubt it. There it is. All right. Okay, so we got the water restored. But, like I said, we're Mayor, not. That did it. The system is active. We're not quite done yet. Oh, we got to go back to the collapsed highway. We're going the wrong way. Okay, so that takes care of that. Perimeter clear. I still have a feeling we're still not quite done yet. Oh, here we go. This old disabled vehicle was more willing to part with its still functioning power cell than one would expect. Alright, so I think that does it here. We took care of the unfinished business for now. Let's double check to make sure we didn't miss anything of importance, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Well, time to return topside. Got what I want. Now we can move on.
Traveler! And we're back. That didn't take too long. Oh wait, gotta go in here. thoughts again. We have a chance to start over, thanks to you. Food is still our immediate concern, but we'll manage. I took out what looked like the oldest of the Varen. The rest are yours. That's great. I mean, Varen tastes horrible, but with the Geth gone, I can organize a hunt. Thank you for not abandoning us like everyone else. I should go. Here. Oh, nice. I get it's not much I know, but it's all we can spare. Very nice. without pain. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, my dad gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Now if I can kick these power cells into place, I'll have this colony up and running in no time. Have you given any thought to helping us with our water troubles? The water's back on again. Really? I'll need to get the relays going then. Thanks for your yeah, sure. Alright, our next step is actually, well, out of here. Back to the Normandy. Welcome back. Uh, I'm uh, trying to keep cool. That's I'm doing. Anyways, how's it going on your end? Whew. Excuse me. Right. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Commander, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? I just need some time to let this cipher do its thing. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can oh, make nice. some sense of it. Well, I did have 50 for a while, but apparently, uh... But apparently I lost followers, and I'm not sure why. I mean, I can understand that uh, you have to be online consistently, and you also have to stream for pretty long, but I'm going to make this rule. I did make this... I did mention this in some of my other streams, but I'm going to mention this for the last time. My health is not worth getting a thousand followers, because I'm not going to be sitting here streaming for four, six, eight hours here just to get a hundred or even a thousand followers. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. That was... incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. 
What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. And I hold Come no on, responsibility the for the brain splatter. What did you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. Alright, well, if you have to go, hey, I'm not gonna stop you because, I mean... Well... It's the standard here. Just a few hours and that's pretty much it. Unless I'm in the middle of something, then I might let the stream go a little bit longer. It just depends. It varies. You must have seen something. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogenia should have told us about the Oh, Marine. right. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study. Well, usually destroyed. my average stream is about two hours. I think the longest stream I've done was two and a half, I believe. And I think the shortest stream was like about an hour and 45 minutes. Exogeny tried to study it. Look how that turned out. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes specters have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. All right. I'm gonna take a look at my character here. Let's see here. You did it. Wow. I could never do that because even I think it's by like, I think from what I understand, it's like like hour four. You start to get this little development called digital fatigue, and yes, it is a real thing, where your eyes actually start to tire out after a while. And like I said, I am not going to stream for that long here because my health and well-being is way more important. My Paragon skills are really high. Alright, so... Oh, gotta talk to my crew some more. Elevators this way. Actually, hang on a second here. There is actually one thing I was going to show you. Just give me one second. I'll be right back. Of course, not a lot of people realize this, but I recently just started wearing glasses. Well, this is generally because I stare at screens all day long. And it's usually the blue light that causes all this. So, I mean, uh, what do you think? Huh? Maybe I should consider streaming with glasses from now on. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Let's go check on Liara. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. You know, Chakwas it's kind of funny doing. here that a lot of people say I that I look good with glasses. Of course, I think one time I made a comment of a... Uh, I don't know if you've ever, if any of you guys seen the show Breaking Bad, but... I do have a little bit of a resemblance to, uh... Walter White. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. 
Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people. I feel kind of flattered that I feel terrible like good glasses. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard. I think for the rest of the stream, I'm gonna wear this. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high strung. We don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That'd be a that that'd be a miracle in of itself. At first, I thought that was a weakness of your species. Of After spending 44? time with you and your crew, however, 44? Who's I that? think it may actually Never heard of be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what happened on Akuz. The fact that you survive shows a remarkable strength. Needs gaming. Hmm. Interesting. Why are you so interested in me? I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. And this doesn't mean I'm going to rip open your innards either to see what makes you tick. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. Do I have Twitter? Um, no, I actually do not. I actually don't have Twitter. Um, the only other thing I have is my website and my YouTube channel, and that's it. Oh, boy. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know if, uh, I don't know who I want to take. Ash or Liara? This is, this is a tough one here. Hmm. Because I like them both. But we really didn't, uh, but there's really no connection as of yet. Even though Liara is the prettier of the two. Oh, I think there's a bit of a connection here with the second game. Whereas if you start your relationship with Liara, I think it continues into the second game, I believe. Williams and I are just friends, nothing more. My mistake then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that too? This is definitely... I remember from the second game here, uh... This is interesting, but this, I gotta admit, it's starting to feel a little weird. But like I said before, I like Liara more. No, you were right. There is something between us. And there is an achievement I attached to this as well. And I knew well, you felt three of them. Too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different I can make 101 jokes, but I'm going to leave it at that. nothing in common. This makes no sense. Saren wants both of us dead. That's something. That is not the most romantic reason, is it? You make it all sound so dangerous. I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You, I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's, let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. All right, I think with that, we're going to head up. Start the next part of the journey. Okay, so our next stop is we have to go to No 
No deck rocks. No deck rocks. No deck. No deck rocks. However you pronounce it. We gotta go up in the world. Oh no, wait, we're going down. Well, actually, yeah, I do want to go down because I want to see what else the vendor has for sale. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Mm. Well, let's compare this to the current sniper rifle I've got. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this. For sure. Compare. Uh, I guess. And just like that, we go bankrupt. How lovely. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, this has higher damage, too. Oh, yeah, we're getting a wise choice here. So, yeah, we're going to keep these for now. But like I said, I bought some good weapons, but I'm bankrupt. Thank you, requisition officer. Ah. <sighs> Bostock system, Maroon Sea cluster. All right, Bostock is where I gotta go next. Did I get everything done here like I wanted to? I don't remember. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. Let's survey the land, get some more light metal. Great. Go, but we're not quite ready yet. Okay, now we're ready.
anomaly. totally fine. I'm not going to get finicky about it. Mako might, but I'm not. So we're gonna have to come back. I'm gonna have to do that to go this way. I think this one got myself a bit of a jam here. That's okay. We can always do that area later. The science facility, I think we're gonna hit last. Yes. Over there. It's off the beaten path, but hey, I'll take it. Transformed. Well, that's 
Let's have a look inside, since we're here anyways. Let's have a look inside. Since we're here anyways. Oh, since I'm here anyways, um... Siege base. Colony of the dead. No clues as of yet. Hmm. Not real sure what to do at this point. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go take a look at that. Oh. Sure, I'll take it. Can't equip human armor. All right. I think we got everything here, so let's keep searching for those clues. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, 
yeah, we can't do a hate station in the meantime. But nothing here. Hmm. No clues here. Well, anyways, I seem to get what I want now, and we can get out of here. We'll go here because the civilian structure is closer. Perfect. What are you doing? There we go. Oh, we were just here. Why did I mark this again? here now. Alright, because there actually is a much more open pathway. I always keep forgetting you gotta pay attention to the dark spots. You can't pay attention to the light. That just determines elevation. Welcome back. So you got your errands done for the day? Now you just sit back, relax, do whatever. There we go. This is what I want. Now we're going the right way. All right, we're here. Let's take a look see here and see what, uh, what we can savage, scavenge, or scavenge here, whatever. Salvage. That's the word. More omnigel, or metagel. A 
smidge more protection, but it doesn't do much with shields and has no it doesn't have any biotic protection. Let's see here, take all. Alright, so let's take a look at this pyramid here, see if there's anything of interest. Can't imagine there wouldn't be. else here. Here. Oh, I found another Protheum Data Disc. Very nice. That was the big one right there. That's nice. back into the Mako we go. So our next stop is the science facility. familiar with Bad Batch. The DeLorean, I've heard of. Well, that's alright, because, you know, like I said before, I'm just not very big on TV watching nowadays here. I mean, ooh, got a nice view. Okay, so it looks like I can see the facility from here, so straight ahead. And like I said, if anybody wants to spoil anything for TV-related, I'm not gonna, not gonna get too picky about it, because like I said, I don't watch TV all that much. And like I said before, I'm just not a big fan of television. I think I did make mention before, the only Star Wars media related I've seen was, well, not kind of the, the three movies that were from the 70s, because everybody's seen those. I've only seen a portion of The Phantom Menace, I think I've seen a portion of Attack of the Clones, and I think I may have only seen a... Uh, run up a link to something? As long as it's not malicious, and as long as it doesn't lead to malware or anything virus-related, go ahead. And yes, I am very finicky when it, when it comes to this sort of thing. Okay, we're here. Oop, splat. Negative contact, Shepard. Thank you for telling me that. I think I know already. 
All right, now we're inside. Well, unless we have to look around for clues. Okay, there's the entrance. What's this over here? Oh, nothing. Okay, let's go take a look inside. Okay, if it's a YouTube link, then hey, go for it. Way. Oh. Clear. oh, that's right, I forgot to mention, uh, my security systems will automatically assume that all links are bad because, like I said, I'm very finic- I am very, very wary when it comes to protections. Oh, I should have made mention of that. Uh, tell you what, why don't you describe to me what it is and I can look at it in my own time. I think that's going to be a lot better. Oh, nothing here. Sure, go ahead. The Colonial Pioneer team rarely consists of more than a few dozen specialists. It's clear that none of them have survived. The Cerberus group has a lot to answer for here. I know who Cerberus is too, but I'm not saying it. So, so it seems like there's more going on here. Okay. All right, I'll look into that. I'll look into that. There's more here, isn't there? Wait a minute. I don't think we're quite finished yet. And uh, never mind, I was wrong. All right, I think that's going to do it for now. All right, let's go. On me. point. All right, like I said, I think with all that, we're done here.
that, we're done here. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I like talking with you, Liara, no matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity, but those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge, identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. It is unlike any other experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. That sounds amazing. Are you saying... No! Oh, no! Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The Union is more than just sex. Right. It is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. I want you to be absolutely sure about this, Liara. I am only 106, barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really nice. thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers. I do not know if we are ready for this. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over. I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Let's let's talk about something else. Maybe after the next mission, we'll talk to her more. Go. Goodbye, Shepard. One thing is that I am also getting experience out of this too. So, So our next destination. Oh yeah, let's let's stick around here for just a little while longer while I uh so make sure I got everything for us before I move on. I think I did. Metal. Large deposit platinum. Very nice. Very nice. 
And I think that does it for here. Yeah, I think we're done here. Uh, no. Not yet. Let's go to the Caspian first. Cornucopia. Let's take a look-see here. survivors. Not too many problems. So we got these rooms first. Not much any storage object. show this ship was exploring near the Perseus Vale. Looks like they found some kind of alien artifact. They brought it on board, and then... This makes no sense, Commander. They plotted a course straight into the Perseus Vale, like they wanted the Geth to find them. 
That artifact must have done something to them. Why else would someone fly into Geth's space? The entries don't make a lot of sense after that. It's like the captain's mind was falling apart. It, it doesn't say anything about how they got back into our territory. Yeah. The Geth turned them into husks and left the ship where someone would find it, trying to show us what happens to organics dumb enough to enter the Vale. Huh. Interesting. Very, very interesting. done yet. Writings. Very nice. Looks like we've Here got we an go. active distress beacon on the planet below, Commander. No message, just a locator signal. Let's go take a look. All right, let's take a look-see here. Ancient debris recover. Another Turian 
insignia. Very nice. All right, our next destination is the debris over there. Oh good, life stack. Up. Or maybe not. Alright, so I might have to end up taking a different route altogether. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go around. As much as I want to go straight, the terrain just can't let me do that. Yeah, I've got to go around. Okay, so I gotta go. choice.
wait a second, I'm going the wrong way. When I, like I said, when I, if I have to take a long route, I will have to take a long route. I'll go this way anyways. to be guarding something valuable. Or it could just be a colossal waste of time. I don't think I'm gonna go with the former. It was not a waste of time. There is something here. Once we get rid of these creepers here. Oh, excellent. It's really amazing how this thing can climb over such terrain. And the deposit is down there. There we go. Whee! Flips. Oh, we made it. Great. That would have been a real disaster had we not used our thrusters. Oh, found some gold. Very nice. We are way off course, but just to get some extra gold, worth it. Okay, 
so, which means now we gotta go back this way. Uh, somehow. I did not anticipate this at all. Wait, I have a better idea. You know, wait, I have a better idea. Let's return to the army and then come back. I think that's gonna help. Instead of wasting time uh, trying to explore. Okay, let's try this again. There it is. There's the pathway. Oh, there's another one. Alright, looks like we found another deposit. Very nice. And this one is much easier to get to. going. Oh, I gotta go this way. Another way around. Let's 
set on lock that deposit. I'm probably sure there is another way. Just have to find it. Alright, perfect. This is much better. Oh, yeah. There it is. That's my gold. Oh, it's cobalt. Alright. Take cover! Alright. Now is not the time. All right, that takes care of that. Now we can move on to the facility here. Heavy metals aren't too bad, but it's those rare earths that we gotta keep an eye out for. Well, but I'll worry about that later. I'm surprised this mercenary four often protects more than uh, the other ones.
keep going. Rescuers? Oh, thank God. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross, Chief Exogeny Researcher at this facility. We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. I need to know what's going on. Why is this place crawling with Thorian creepers? How do you know about the Thorian? I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists. So I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. Why didn't you send a clear message asking for help? All we had was that signal from the emergency beacon. This is a closed communications base. Exogeny was worried about someone on the project selling secrets to a rival firm or reporting our work to the authorities. We have no direct communication with the outside, only the emergency beacon. It sends a general distress signal to the Exogeny site on Pharos. They're supposed to send a team to respond inside of 24 hours, but it sounds like they had problems of their own. Any chance some of the other people at the base might still be alive? Hmm, I doubt it. Too many creepers out there. They never stood a chance. We're the only ones left. Any idea why they turned on you? Maybe there was still some kind of link between the creepers and the Thorian back on Pharos. The Thorian was unlike any other life form we've ever studied. I can't explain how, but maybe when it died, it, it somehow set off the creepers here. I've heard all I need to. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? You were in charge of this project. The safety of the staff was your responsibility. They trusted you, and you betrayed that trust. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Normally, Exogeny would have my back, but... It sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. The victims here deserve justice. I have to take you in. Uh, that's not going to happen. Open fire. Open fire! <laughs> Jenny's second rate mercs proved no match for a trained Alliance Marine. With the last of the science crew dead, there's no reason to linger here.
let's get out of here. That's all we need. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? Oh. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. You know, I haven't been to my op captain's office in a while. Let's see if anything got moved around in there. Oh. Nothing of interest. Okay, well, that takes care of that. So we gotta go to the Hades Gamma Cluster. So yeah, this was a waste. Back to where I once was going. Yeah, we've already navigated a this area so we can leave. I think I've been to the PAX area also, so we're done here. So our next step is Hades Gamma. Thank you. 
Oh no, we've been here already. So let's go over here. Okay, here we go. This is where I want to go. Unfortunately, the vast majority of this area is pretty deep, so we shouldn't have, we shouldn't have too many problems navigating. Writing very nice. Close to the transmitter, your comes to pick up a recording of a wistful string quartet. You power the system down. Whoever lives here, they haven't been back for some time. The crates are covered in Koki's chalky dust, and the status lights of the shack indicate the dance must be ran out long ago. Oh, very nice. Okay. It looks like someone has been living in this place. The small crate held some stale food and one of Matrix Delegate's writings. Oh. It's still in fairly good condition, unlike the food. Oh, I'm sure. Matriarch writing, so that's good to know. Let's right, start getting rid of some of these fives here. Now that I think about it here, I still need this one also. 
see if this works. So it keeps trying to keep, uh... I'm supposed to minimize casualties here. This might work. I don't think about it. seconds here. Managed to get it. Perfect. Right, next up is the science base. Without uh, too many problems. What was it guarding though? There's something here. There was supposed to be something in here, wasn't there? Because that's the deposit. And I think I'm gonna let the stream go for just a little bitty bit longer. At least until this mission's over. Oh, some mercury deposit.
taking down, take down the terrorists, but remember to check your targets. The civilians are so addled by the drug, they'll wander right in the middle of, the, of a firefight. Well, I think this is where melee is going to come into play. It's gonna be hard to. I think if you just knock him out here. Because it worked in the previous mission. Hopefully it'll work here. We cleared the facilities. Human losses were tolerable. Evolution of humanity, huh? Those bags didn't seem that different from the other scum we deal with. Okay, so I guess it was acceptable that, uh... So the Omnigel. I mean, to be fair, these scientists weren't killed. They were just... Knocked out. Unless I wasn't supposed to mail him, but whatever. But whatever. session. I'd like to thank everybody who watched and those who joined me in the chat room. I will see everyone next time.